Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin. Jacob here. I get to be your host today, so we're going to do things a little bit differently. Uh, first and foremost, let's get the quick disclaimer out of the way. Um, this is not financial advice by any stretch. This is not financial advice. This is for educational purposes only here at Wise Beyond Bitcoin. We like to help you do your own research to be your own bank. Everything that you do, you must consult a financial advisor before you move forward with it. We are not financial advisors here. Do not look for financial advice. We're just here to help educate you about the opportunities within this space, so that way maybe you can make your own decisions. That out of the way, let's get to today's topic. So here on Wise Beyond Bitcoin, you know we like to share information. You know we like to share the newest, hottest topics. And so what's been one of the newest, hottest topics we've been talking about? Well, if you look through a couple of our videos, you'll start to see uh, things like Unisync, things like ZK rollups, layer twos. And so today we're talking about that, exactly that, layer twos and ZK rollups. But before we get into that, I do need to put this onto your radar real quick. Uh, Gitcoin is an amazing website. It's basically the Kickstarter for blockchain technology. If you have a blockchain technology that you're personally developing or that if you believe in and want to support, um, you can find it here. And if you go through their products and you go through their grants, you can explore the different blockchain technologies that are allowing you to donate to them to support and be a part of the ecosystem. And it's an amazing thing to be able to support these projects, especially early on. Um, <laughs> Gitcoin is famous for actually having quite a few different protocols that launched on Gitcoin, um, had a couple Gitcoin grants, people made donations, and they got an airdrop for their rewards. They're rewarded for their efforts for taking part in this ecosystem. And so it's just another opportunity for you to go through and support the protocols that you particularly believe in. And here in Wise Beyond Bitcoin, we believe in supporting the protocols that we believe in. So one of those protocols that we're going to be talking about today that I happen to find is Nectar. What is Nectar? Well, Nectar is a layer two solution. And it's a layer two solution that focuses on ZK rollups. What's amazing about zero knowledge rollups is the fact that it allows you to retain that data privacy on that layer. And so what's amazing about their particular product is they're allowing a decentralized open global healthcare storage system for your data. And it's insane the value proposition that that has. Um, if you think about it like this, the medical industry as a whole is a trillion dollar industry. This allows you to retain that data privacy within that medical sphere in a global way that's completely HIPAA compliant. So that's <laughs> that in and of itself is amazing. But um, why? That's, that's, that's really the big question is why, why, do, why do you need your data privacy here in this space, specifically with your healthcare? Well, the lack of control over patients' data is not something that they can control. They don't have control over their data. You don't have the option to decide where that data gets disclosed and to whom that data gets disclosed to. It's being bought and sold millions of times over and you get nothing for it. You're not incentivized by any means to, uh, <laughs> to have your data shared against your will. Uh, the monopolistic control of your data, the, the parties who control your data and who control the healthcare companies have control over everything. And we'll get into that whole idea of control over data a little bit more in the, the next part of this content that we're putting out. But uh, to go further and further on, 
denial of service attacks are something that happens a lot. If you've heard of DDoSing, um, it was like a popular thing when I was growing up as a kid, people would DDoS streamers, people would DDoS whatever, and haha, it's funny. But it's not funny when it affects millions of people. It's not funny when it affects people's lives and their livelihoods. And you're still vulnerable to DDoS attacks with your data. You're still vulnerable to these things. And having this technology helps prevent some of that and helps offset some of that. And so by having these services that allow for a global decentralized public ledger for you to store your data on, there's not something that can just be taken down. Their servers and access to that data just can't be taken down so easily. And so it's just another thing to mention uh, within this space and especially within the Web3 space is you're getting that better security. And so they're building that infrastructure today. This is a, a product that's being built out. And it's amazing the value potential that this has, not just as a use case for, let's say, medical data, but this also sets a precedent for your data in general. And I think that's something big to mention is they're incentivizing you to be able to use this and take part in their ecosystem with their native token, NCTR or Nectar. And so their native token is going to bring utility and governance to the network. Uh, specifically, data service providers earn the token through offering services. Uh, you can have node infrastructure. You can have HIPAA compliant storage as a part of your decentralized uh, network. And you can authorize all of these different auditing and review services and getting paid to do so. And so it's an amazing value proposition to be able to take a economic incentive and apply it to your data. And it really gives you as the consumer your privacy back and the power back. You have that purchasing power back with your data. And so to go through Nectar's website and just to kind of get you a feel for their ethics, their, their core of who they are, they truly do believe in a patient-centered future for a better foundation for medicine. And I think here at Wise Beyond Bitcoin, I, Lucas and Ryan aren't here today, but I can definitely speak on their behalf to say that data privacy is important and having access to choose what you want to do with that data privacy is just as important. Um, being incentivized to share that data privacy, whether you want to or not, is ultimately up to you. And that's something that's powerful across the Web3 space. To get on to uh, <laughs> a point of why it's so powerful. So an example of another Web2 uh, piece of technology that just completely screwed over uh, users of that Web2 technology. Uh, here we have uh, a young woman who had the handle metaverse for her account, right? Facebook owns a couple different social medias, but she had the uh, metaverse tag and that was rightfully hers. But Facebook didn't purchase it off of her. No, what they did is because they had centralized control over their particular networks, they completely barred her account, blocked it, and then stole the username metaverse for themselves rather than doing the open and honest thing paying someone what they're worth what their value is worth for the things that they're using and that they're creating and they're utilizing within their space they'd rather just take it if this was a domain name in the web3 space let's say like a dot eth domain this would be something that they would have to purchase on the blockchain to verifiably prove but instead they have control and they can decide when they want to take away something from you, when they want to utilize it at any arbitrary moment in time. And the only reason why in the end she got her account back is because the New York Times, obviously a very prolific source of news, um, covered her story. And so it's really interesting uh, 
this particular story and the implications of what it means for web two and moving into the future of web three, what it means for your data and data storage in general. Facebook is infamous for its data leaks. And as uh, here in the US, data privacy becomes more and more important as the internet's being more and more widely adopted and more and more people are getting involved with the data on the metaverse, their data on the internet, their data, whether it's sensitive data or personal data, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, is it not your data? And really, I think that's the question that Nectar is posing. And so just to give a quick shout out, uh, I'd like to just shout out how criminally underrated their Twitter is and their social media is for the value proposition that they bring here at Wise Beyond Bitcoin. We like being early and we like showing you these protocols in their earliest developments that we find them. And so you could see that they only have 551 followers. It's criminally underrated, in my opinion, um, especially as a layer two, a layer two that has that function. And now their protocol is going to be built on top of Ethereum. But the amazing thing about their particular layer two, this zero knowledge proof can swap out the layer one blockchain for a different one. So eventually you're going to have a decentralized global private storage for your data that can have that across multiple different blockchains as a consensus uh, and execution layer. So you'll have these different layers operating, doing different things and allowing for the true decentralization of your data storage. It's amazing the value propositions that they have. Absolutely amazing. Without further ado, if you like this kind of content, please, please like and subscribe, hit the bell icon, hit the like button. Uh, let us know if there's any other technology that you personally use, that you utilize, that you think has a future use case that you'd like for us to cover here. We'd love to hear about it in the comments section down below. This has been a lot of fun hosting my very first Wise Beyond Bitcoin video all by myself. Little lonely without hearing Lucas, little lonely without having Ryan on. But you know what? I can honestly say that with them here in spirit and with the core values that we have here at Wise Beyond Bitcoin, I know for a fact that they would love, 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 love to be a part of this particular technology. And it has its use case within our ecosystem. I appreciate your time today. Have a great day. And as always, namaste.